Aoife Wilson, I've heard you've been able to play Stray. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. You, <laughs> how dare you start this whole thing off with a pun? Ah, uh, so you rude. regret asking me to start this now. Oh, no, I really but do. Honestly, I bet you don't regret playing Stray. I mean, maybe you do. This is a, this is a game <laughs> this that is what we're cat lovers like. have been, uh, yeah, looking forward to. For a long time, I well, remember so seeing true, this years it? ago. Yeah, a couple yeah, of videos years ago. I mean, no, like, there's there's entire Twitter accounts, you know, dedicated to can you pet the dog? Everyone's always talking about <laughs> dogs in video games. Dogs, man's best friend. But I, I am a cat lover. I am a cat person. You know, mm. I have my own stray who's literally sitting beside me right now, looking oh. at me. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's about time. It's about time we got a we got a game all about all about a cat. It's and about it's, time. Yeah. Cat. Can you pet the cat? You play as a cat, you so are I the guess cat, you can. So yeah. You can actually, you know, um, you can rub yourself up against other people. So in this oh. game, you could say the cat pets you. Whoa. Right? That's oh. deep. <laughs> 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 well, okay, so for people who don't know what Stray is, can you give mm -hmm. us a, an outline? What What is Stray? So it's a, yeah, it's like a... Um, a, a game where you, as you, we said, you play as a cat, but you're in this kind of post-apocalyptic world where, um, you know, you, you start off and it, it, it looks like it's it's been this way for a long, long time. Um, some things are kind of like, well, most things are really sort of um, dilapidated and falling mm. apart, and you can see remnants of an old kind of the the vet last vestiges of humanity, but there are still life forms around because obviously you're a cat you're around the, um and there are some other you're sharing the world with some other beings as well so you've got Ooh. um you're you actually find and uh sort of make friends with a little drone um okay and there are like these humanoid robots called companions who kind of have fond memories of humans uh because seemingly you know we aren't around anymore mm. and then you also have these um I want to call them head crabs. They're basically head crabs, but they're called zergs instead. Zerks instead. Um, okay. But like, think head crabs. They're uh, they're like something that you've got to avoid and run from um, for most of the game. So, um, and yeah, you kind of you are on a mission to get back to your. You are astray, but you have. I don't think it's a spoiler to say that you have like a little family of cats at the beginning. Cat pals. Um, and, and you get separated from them, so it's kind of like you you want to find your way back to them, but you have make, make a lot of friends along the way, too. Okay, so in terms of then gameplay, what is, is it? Is it like um, an exploration game? Is it like, is there a narrative to it? It's hard to kind of picture what you can do as a yeah, cat. Yeah, it's definitely story-based. There's definitely a main story that you follow. The mm. controls are, like, they don't actually change a whole bunch the whole way through. Like, um, jump is contextual, so, like, you, you know, you're, obviously, you're a cat. You're super, you're, you're super vertical. You know, you're in these kind of, like, built-up hub areas, um, which are really fun to explore, and you can kind of, you know, jump up onto the rooftops and sort of find your way across ledges. And um, there is some like puzzle solving elements to that too, where, you know, cats are super nimble, so you can rush mm. across these, you know, beams, or you can, um, you know, jump on the beams, cause them to sort of like swift or shift or swing around, and then jump back on so that you can you know, form a path for them. Because there's a lot okay. of like, because it is kind of post-apocalyptic, there's a lot of like. Hazardous materials that you need to avoid, and you know, zerks that you need to run from, and stuff right. like that. Um, and sort of, that, that's kind of the height of it. You've got, you, you can, you press triangle to interact with things, and you kind of, um, you speak or meet people um, via square because okay. uh, you, you got your little drone to help you with that. Um, and then it's kind of, there's like there's bits where you can scratch at things because um, obviously you're a cat you mm. want to you scratch on things and that's kind of like alternating L2 and R2 and then it's R2 to sprint what, like and that's kind making of making biscuits the making yeah, biscuits yeah 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 totally yeah, yeah making biscuits I know I know oh, that's so cute <laughs> yeah so that's kind of it like the controls mm. don't massively change the whole way through there is a section where you get like a weapon of sorts um oh. But it's not. It, it, I think the, the focus is definitely more on puzzle solving than right. like you know becoming 
cat that's going to like attack everyone like you're Fair. you know you're you're very small and the world is very big it's kind of more you know avoiding trouble than causing it does does that mean like the cat is in peril at times a cat lover's going to get their hearts broken as you yes. know yes well i was really afraid of that to be honest because i i don't know about anyone else i cannot i cannot bear to watch or play anything where animals are in peril like screw mm. humans like whatever but it's just <laughs> it's too sad when it happens to animals because they can't you can't explain to them you can't tell exactly. them it's going to be okay it's awful yeah. um there was one point early on where i did cry but i think Aww. i'm just like but i think that I, I, like it's not really you know it's not meant to be that sad but mm. it's like I'm just like super sensitive about anything to do with stray cats, but um, no, for the most part, there are a few bits where the cat gets a little bit hurt and maybe like limps a little bit, which is kind of, kind of sad. But like, right. you know, hopefully no spoilers. But like, if anyone's worried about, you know, the cat being really like in peril and worrying about it, don't be. It's fine. Like, you know, if you ever get a game over screen, I think the the developers are smart enough to, uh, to sort of zoom out on that and not really sh like they don't show anything horrible anything mm. really horrible happening to the cat yeah in footage i've seen the cat's kind of the the cat is like jumping across mm. lots of um you know obstacles and stuff is it like because cats generally they're pretty good at climbing things they don't mm -hmm. fall off very often is there like option like can you fall off do you have to be really good with the platforming no not really because the jump is contextual um like there was never a point where i I missed something and fell down. I think you you might be able to do that because there are some obstacles that swing and stuff, mm. um, and there are some timed things. But I don't think you're going to be like treated to like an extended death animation or anything like that. Fair um, enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that I want to see it. It's just I want to no. go and prepared. I know. I don't. <laughs> I don't think there is like a. I mean, it's it's it's. As I say, it's more narrative based, so it's not hugely. Mm. It's not a very challenging game, you know. Fair you're not really going to get stuck on a lot of stuff. Yeah, fair. So, you were saying um, the main kind of storyline is to get back to your pals. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else to do besides that main storyline? There actually is. Yeah, there's a few little like because you you know the game sort of ebbs and flows. Um, you know, you go through like there's some really like kind of action-packed chase sequences, and then Ooh. you know there'll be some quiet sort of meandering bits. Um, meandering. Meow, wondering. <laughs> um, but there also there's like a few um, cute little sort of hub areas that you pass mm. through where um, if you kind of take your time and chat to people and um, explore and stuff, uh, you, there are actually some side quests that you can pick up on. Um, so like you can, you know, there's one where you you look around for music sheets because there's this. Um, this uh, robot that wants to learn lots more music, so you can sort of look around and find those for him. Um, and there's also um, uh, memories that you can unlock throughout the game. And I did wonder, because so like there's mem there's core memories that are sort of you have to find um, because they're tied to the narrative. But mm -hmm. there's also like additional memories that you can find throughout the game. And I did sort of I got about I think I finished the game with around 77 percent of the memories recovered. Right. And I did wonder if maybe there's a different ending if you manage to get 100% of them. Whose memories something? are they? Are they cat's memories? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, oh okay. spoiler memories. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, you don't know, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to elaborate on them. Fair enough. But yeah, and there's like there's a yeah there's a fun little um, bit earlier in the game where like you, know, you find a shop and you can exchange a few bits and pieces for things in the shop and then you can use those bits that you've exchanged to sort of find other other things for people and where where does just, the cat keep its money? Well, it does have a little backpack. Remember. Does it? Oh, I yeah. don't know. Oh. Yeah. He runs around with a little backpack on him. Ah. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> yeah, it's really, really cute. <laughs> but yeah, there's, so there are like little sort of side bits that you can mm. do. You don't have to do all of them. Um, but it's quite like, it's fun as well because the, the memories, some of them are very well hidden. Um, right. And like separate paths and stuff. Are there any other um, extras in the game uh, or collectibles? I think like... Not so much collectibles, but the thing I really liked about it was um, there's a lot of little touches that let you know that this is definitely a game made by cat lovers. Right. So like, you know, like I said, there's the bit where you can just scratch on things, you know, making biscuits or like, yeah. you know, and you, there's there's places and it doesn't really, most of the time that doesn't really serve a purpose. You're just doing it because you're, because you're a cat, right? Mm. And then there's another, there's another thing you can do where you find little, um, paper bags uh like on the street or in apartments and stuff and if you go and sort of have a look at them 
um, they get trapped on your head, and when that happens, the controls are um, reversed because you know when a cat gets something on their head and they back yeah. up. You know when they, yeah. like it's very very knowing to like what cats are like. That's exactly what Tilly did when we had to put the cone of yeah. shame on her. Exactly, like they just forget how to how to do anything. How to cat. It's like, <laughs> yeah, cat.exe has stopped working <laughs> literally. Um, and then there's little um, bits where the, you can find a really sort of cute little corner and. Mm the cat will curl up and go to sleep and the, the sort oh. of the camera will zoom out and the music will sort of kick in and it's just a, a nice little zen moment um so it's just nice to have those little things that just really it's just about, it's just a bit of a love letter to cats isn't it like it's yeah. just just quite nice um oh. yeah that's cute yeah. so there's it sounds like there's quite a lot if you want to spend some time exploring mm. and be, being a cat maximum yes. cat um, it sounds like there's extra stuff to do, but like if you were to just, you know, kind of fly through the game, how, how mm -hmm. long is it? Well, so here's the thing, like, um, I think uh, we were told that the game would be around eight hours and ten if you were to look into all those extra bits. But like, mm -hmm. I did a fair bit of the of the of the extra side quests and stuff not all but but a fair bit um and i would say it it runs closer to about six hours honestly okay i mean i was you know i, I don't think i was playing it particularly like I, I don't think i was rushing through it i did have to play it to make with this video um in mind obviously right. to get it out on embargo but if you were if you were really no i don't need, I, I yeah i do think it's more like six hours um, mm. Which is fine. I think it. I don't think it's too short. I think it's you know it's the right length for this kind of game. It just means that nothing's really overdone. Um, yeah, I guess like when you're making it or you know playing a game that's about mm -hmm. a cat that I, I'm. Well, you've said stuff that makes me think maybe the cat can talk, but maybe the drone you mentioned <laughs> helps. But <laughs> it's hard to think how you could make a big expansive game starring yeah. a, a cat. Yeah. I wouldn't expect it to be, I wouldn't go in expecting it to be a big epic. Like, it is a lovely adventure, but it's not, it's not a huge game by any means, you know. It's a, it's a nice little self-contained experience that yeah, just I is, and it looks absolutely gorgeous as well. Like, some of the, you know, the neon lit streets and everything of, like, the, the some of the places you explore are just, yeah, really stunning. Yeah, I remember seeing the original kind of viral videos mm. of the cat wandering around a sci-fi landscape and thinking, wow, that looks so cool. I yeah. presume it holds up. You played PlayStation 5, That's right? right, yeah. The only thing that maybe doesn't look so great is is the cat itself. Right. Um, sometimes, but cat, like, you know, quadrupeds are really hard to, like, animate and to make look good i think so yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't blame them for that i mean the animations of it are quite nice the way it jumps and the way it moves and everything it's just sometimes mm. living furry beings are much harder <laughs> to make look good a lot especially alongside robots you know what i mean so yeah um, okay yeah that's fair enough well i i you know i think i prefer a short polished experience to something yeah. that outstays its welcome yeah. um in in this kind of uh Literally, as you know, said, that thing. kitty walked out of the room. It's like, I'm not going to stay in my <laughs> Was I, Am I boring you, kitty? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my word. <laughs> well, okay, so what is, um, like, I, I guess what was your favourite thing about it? Is there anything that's, like, really, like, impressed you about it? I think, like, I just my favourite thing is just probably the vibe of it. I, I like that it's, um, it's fairly... It's a fairly low stakes sci-fi adventure, I suppose. Like yeah. that, it is quite. You know, there are definitely moments of peril. Don't get me wrong, and there are bits that I was getting very stressed out at, like that I, that I was going to make the cat get hurt or something. But for the most part, it's it's quite um, quite chill puzzle solving in this gorgeous world, and just you know, I'm I'm just a big fan of anything that. Uh, has cats in it to be honest yeah, that's <laughs> like... true um i did uh, so um i've got one more question before uh we finish but and that is just mainly about customization because mm. i've seen a lot of screenshots and it seems like the cat is like a it's like a ginger tom yes that's right um i you know what i love is that mm -hmm. we could like recreate our own cats in there, yeah. like have tilly running around or titch running around can you is that customization of the cats there uh, is at not. all 
there, there is, is not. not. Oh. I mean, that's maybe they'll add that eventually. That would be lovely, mm. actually, wouldn't it? Like being able. No, but actually, you know what? That would make it even worse for me. I'm glad they did because <laughs> if that was my actual cat in there, I would absolutely be not. I would. I wouldn't breathe like the you know whole time. Yeah. The anxiety would be through it. the roof. <laughs> now you say it like that. Yeah. No, I see. I was like, oh, it'd be really cool to control Titch along, but then. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see her in trouble. So. Yeah. But hmm. that is a lovely idea, though. I wonder, maybe that's, I don't know, maybe they just didn't want to do that for that very reason. Yeah. Know. So, yeah. overall, then, would you uh, would you recommend uh, Stray? I, w- I would. I think it's a really nice experience. Like, I, as I said, don't, like, go in thinking it's going to be this huge, big game that you're going to, like, you know, pour loads of hours into. It's a nice, quite simple, quite self-contained experience. Like, the... You know, as I said, the the controls like don't really evolve all that much over time. But you're a cat, you know. Like, yeah. well, what do you expect? The story yeah. I, I've deliberately stayed away from for spoilers. Like, I don't really want to give too much away. Um, but it's sweet and um, it's yeah, like it just it just looks really nice. And it's yeah. so you it's know, for for a fresh for what like six six ish hours. It's a, yeah, absolutely. Okay, nice so experience. it's good, but not perfect. <laughs> I'm sorry to do this on to you on your last day. How dare you? You're really giving me pause for thought. Like, hey. hey! Well, with all these puns, I'm like the cat that got the cream. Oh, no. <laughs> now, listen, you lot. Um, <laughs> I will be actually streaming Stray tomorrow yes. from um, I whenever I'm allowed to. So uh, do keep an eye on the channel uh, yes. if you want to see it in action. But thank you very much, Eva, for your review. I'm very excited to play it now. Good. Oh my God, I'll have to tune in and watch as well. I'll just like, you know, see, uh, see, judge you for how much you get the cat hurt. <laughs> everyone judges me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Do like and subscribe, and stay tuned for Stray Let's Plays tomorrow. Bye. Meow.